It's Melanie here with Will Ramey from Penny and Associates Injury Lawyers. And the question of the day is, can you switch personal, personal injury lawyers? And that's a great question, Melanie. And the answer is absolutely. You can switch personal injury attorneys. And it is uh, typically addressed in a personal injury fee agreement about what happens when you switch um, attorneys. And I can talk a little bit about the process. Fortunately, at our firm, I've, uh, we haven't had a lot of people leave our firm and go to other attorneys. But on occasion, we have taken over a case from another attorney. And so let's talk about how that process works. And let me start with what's in our fee agreement, which is probably somewhat typical meaning I, uh, there's a, you've agreed, you have a personal injury attorney, you've typically agreed to a contingency fee arrangement where you're gonna, a percentage of the recovery is gonna go to that attorney. And then in, as part of the fee agreement, there is a lien on that settlement for those attorney's fees. And what that means is the attorney has claimed a legal, enforceable, contractual, right to a portion of the fees and a portion of that settlement. So if the attorney is fired, then the attorney can let the insurance company typically know, hey, you can't settle this case without making sure that I'm paid because I have a lien. And then that puts them on notice so they could put, go after the person if they settle the case around the fired attorney, then that attorney would be able to go after the the person who fired them, but also the people who paid out the money to say, hey, you knew I had a legal interest in this case and you settled it without me. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's an important, um, uh, you know, kind of the first step. Okay. So there's, there's a, you know, a way, but the good news is with a contingency arrangement, what typically happens is it doesn't affect the portion that the plaintiff gets because when we take over a case, it's typically the same percentage that's agreed to, and we finish the case, we get a settlement or we get a resolution, and then there's a disbursement and all the money gets dispersed at the same time. So then our firm, when we've taken over this case, we go to the attorney that was fired and say, all right, we settled the case, this is what's going on, let's negotiate about how much you're going to get of our contingency that we've recovered of one third. So it's a little bit easier and better for, for the client who feels like they're in a bad spot to get a new attorney. Uh, and then it's between the two attorneys about settling it. Now, and I, what I tell, what I've told clients who've been involved is look, I don't want you to worry too much about what I'm going to pay your former attorney. Okay. You, you're okay with how much we've recovered for you. It's a good, recovery for you, you're approving of that. So then, and then I go and negotiate. And then if the two attorneys don't agree, then there's a process called a fee arbitration. And so then the two attorneys can argue over, hey, I recovered, you know, a one third fee of this really important case and the other attorney didn't do anything. If, or maybe the former attorney is, hey, I did all the work and then my client got into a disagreement with me. And this guy just picked it up and you know, made a few phone calls and settled the case. And then an arbitrator will decide who gets a portion of that contingency fee. Oh, is that something the client pays for also? Uh, great question. No, uh, it's not something the client pays for. The client uh, has paid the attorney's fees that are in the contingency fee. Uh, you know, and the, the former attorney still has a lien uh, but no, the client does not pay for the fee arbitration. That's between the attorneys. Interesting. All right. All right. Anything else on that question? No, I don't think so. Awesome. All right. Thanks, Will. You're welcome. <laughs>